left foot. Woohoo, everybody! It's February. There's so many things happening in February. I can't believe it. We are at our new time, 11 a.m. Pacific, and that's 2 p.m. Eastern, and we know we have people back there in Boston and Pittsburgh woo woo. listening and buried in the snow. We're sorry. And here we are at the Olympics. Do you know how much it's costing the so uh, not too so much? Old, I the, think too much, right? What's the exact number? Fifty-one billion. I can't. It's too much. I this this entire Winter Olympics has just been like one bad publicity thing after another. I, I think it's like the worst yet. Well, I think it's kind of dangerous with the terrorist threats now and the toothpaste. Yeah, and I know. Well, not you can never be too it, sure. Put it, the, the <laughs> well, they said like beauty products, tubes. beauty products yes. and toothpaste are the two, yes. you know, red flags, I guess. But and the bathrooms. I have to ask, since I don't know, and maybe your listeners don't know either, what's that about? Oh, they came on the uh, national news. that They have found an international threat on flights going into Russia, not from the United States, but from European towns, where they think that the terrorists may be putting bomb explosives, materials, explosives yeah. in toothpaste tubes and other beauty yeah. items. So they're cracking down. And, you know, Justin Bieber now is a national threat. <laughs> 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 On that news, he actually, uh, he sat like six hours in customs. And now if he wants to travel internationally, he, he you know, it's red flagged. They take him to a room for interrogation. And You're so it's kidding. No. And so it's going to be really hard for him to travel internationally, which hopefully wherever he is in the Panama, he'll just stay there. <laughs> well, he's a great <laughs> entertainer, but he is a little crazy. He could have been a terrorist threat himself, smoking dope on the airplane yeah. and getting the pilots high. Yeah. If I I'd been a he, pilot i would have said we're landing this you're off of here well you know i'm not giving anybody an opinion yeah. about marijuana or anything i've been known to take a little i've actually puff. never <laughs> smoked i've never had marijuana and i don't now i now that i oh haven't my gosh. i'm at a point <laughs> i'm at a point where i'm like i'm never gonna have it because good, well, good now i you. can say i never had it that's right good for you i feel like i'm Stick so high that. strong that it would make me well like, that's kind of how i am i just I'm on a natural high all the time. Exactly. You're high on life. Tell. Okay, but we now we have you. one more thing that we're doing. We're adding uh, health tips and all sorts of things. Finance. One of the things, finance. Juicy topic. Juicy topic. <laughs> sex. But my favorite. <laughs> love. My favorite even more than sex or love is fashion. Yay. Yay. We're going to have fashion finds every week where I go out into the real world and actually might be reporting live from Fashion Week next week. And find the hottest trends and where we can find them, what works, what doesn't. What did you find this week? So this week, I wanted to talk about the crop top with the high-waisted bottom, where just a little sliver of midriff is showing. And it's become very, very popular. And Do we have some pictures? And we do. The first picture we're going to show is one that works, which is Kim K. And Bob Whoa. keeps saying that I defend Kim K. I don't think I do. I think I always give her a hard time. Mm, no. I, you're I like, just, you're I, like, I, I think she's a good role. She, oh, I never no, said no, not, that. Not, okay, Not no. role model, but she's a good businesswoman. She's a good businesswoman. She I is. Agree. And she's always changing up her look, losing weight, gaining weight. It's like going to stay relevant. Well, well besides I gain and lose Kim weight. K. I don't know that I'm <laughs> yeah, me too, doing it right. Well, we're we got putting it. you up there too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I But so so this picture that we have up of her, she's doing it right. She has a little sliver. And this is the thing. Her, her hemline is really long. And then she shows cleavage, which I think you have to kind of choose one or the other. You can't have a ton uh, of midriff. Right. You can't have a ton of cleavage. And you can't have a ton of leg. Otherwise, Excuse you just me. look like... Hollywood Boulevard mm. corner. No, we don't <laughs> want that. But she did it right in this. And the color is great. Her hair looks good with her bronze. One that one person that did not do it right, unfortunately, and this picture was taken a while ago. Do we have trend. a picture of this? Yeah, this is Katy Perry. And it's because oh, she her top Katie. half looks just like a bra. Like it looks like a sports bra. And if you're going to do the crop, you need to do either a high or make the cap sleeves like Kim K. You can't kind of look like you just came from the beach and throw on a skirt. It's just what it's about you're being nice. Nothing looks right about that outfit. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought I don't want to offend some Katy Perry fans because she has the most no, amount of Twitter love, followers. We love Katy, Katy Perry. Perry has the most Twitter followers. And uh, we love Katy Perry. So, yeah, we can't the, the, we can't hate on her is, too much. Sometimes their stylists lead them in the wrong direction. And that's oh. what we're talking about. So, you know, at you the know. end of the day, if, you, if someone tells you to jump off a bridge, 
Are you going to? No. So you have the decision. But yeah, I understand. Um, one sh- one picture that it, that is good and that you know someone who always does it right is Rihanna, and she's in all white. She's beautiful. She has she has the top half actually as a turtleneck, which I love, and I think that that just kind of covers enough. So if you're gonna have that little you know midriff showing, then it's not you know too much skin and the thing about this is people are like well what if you don't have a good body it you don't have to be stick thin to pull this off because it's a little bit of your rib cage that you're exposing you're not exposing your bottom gut the woman's problem okay well (laughs) i have one question before we go to break and come back with our guest today Uh, what do you think the age limit cutoff is for bearing your midriff i think that don't At say me. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, think, I covered up today. I think it depends on the occasion. If it's just every day, I think that, you know, if you're pushing 50, <gasps> it's it's not, it's not a look for you. But, but you know what? I think if you rock it with confidence and if you rock it right, meaning, you know, the turtleneck, very sliver, you know, small sliver, then I think you can do it. And I, I, I think we all kind of say that there's no I age limit anymore. I think we have to say that you should... Be aware of where you're going to wear it also. So I think yeah. if you're a movie star and, and very skinny. On the red carpet. On the red glitter, carpet. Glam, that's yeah. probably okay. But I don't think the ladies who lunch should be going there. Well, that's why I brought this yes. up is because it's become a daytime trend. Hey, listen. It's not my, just for the performers My anymore. generation wore them too. I remember my. It's back. It's well, the fun. places you can find them are H&M, Topshop. They have a ton. And actually Kylie and Kendall Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> um, have this new line up, or they've had see it for a while see how smart they but, are but they have a, they have um, a lot of options at PacSun ranging from 20 to $60 very very affordable we talk about them maybe they should advertise with us <laughs> I know we talk about okay. that family a lot well Noel, thanks for that and we no hope you problem. do go to Fashion Week next week and report live from there when we come back from our break we are going to be talking to Mary Contini Gordon who wrote this great book on Tixlo the making of a modern day chief and he was chief of the Chumash Indians here in California. What a transition that was.